Hey everybody, welcome back to, well, Raven Hawk Coins, and tonight I'm making some dinner, cooking some fried chicken just before the show. You can see it's 4.05 on the stove, but what I'm going to do is, here in a minute, once these two pieces of chicken are done, I'll be back, and I'm going to share with you how I make gravy, um, from what I understand, and I've had a lot of friends ask me how to make gravy over the years, and I've shown some people, so I figured... Why not share it with my friends, my Raven Nation, my coin family? So I will be back in a little bit and show you how to make some gravy real soon. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. So as you can see, I got the chicken done. I took out a bunch of oil to make sure that I have the proper amount. If you have too much oil in your gravy, it's going to get kind of gross. So what you want to do is take your seasoned uh, flour that you would have been using for cooking, put it in the pan and you want to make sure that you put enough flour in here to be soaked up by the oil properly but not get too uh, thick and you want to keep stirring it so you don't get lumps in your gravy and one of the keys is to having milk and also water a lot of water a lot of milk so I have a thing of water standing by but first you also want to make sure your heat is not too high. I have it on about four on an electric skillet. You want to pour it in, get it started. And uh, <laughs> of course, because I'm doing this in, as an instruction wise, it's not cooperating 100%. So now what I need is the water. And you put in your water to help de thicken it. And one of the keys is you keep stirring and you add your water and your milk accordingly. And as you'll see, it'll get to a nice consistency. It'll be kind of like a soup. And because I didn't overdo the amount of grease, you don't see a bunch of grease floating on the top. And the reason I intermix the milk and the water is to make sure that it comes out with a nice creamier consistency and you don't get a bunch of lumps in your gravy and what I'll do is I'll mix this up and show you in just a second and you're also going to want to still season your gravy to taste um, and so a lot of times what I'll use for gravy extra uh, seasoning is uh, poultry seasoning and a little bit of extra salt and again I want to make sure there's not any lumps and you see if you consistently stir it it comes out pretty good and I still have maybe just a touch too much oil because I can see a little bit floating in the corners and the sides but not too bad so let me do a little taste here not too shabby I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder some poultry seasoning and uh, I use two different kinds of poultry seasoning at the same time because Poultry seasonings are all kind of close in the same flavor, but they will have a little bit of variation between them. And then what you're always going to want to do is a little pinch of salt. Now, I use when I do this, I use table salt, so I don't use very much salt at all because table salt is a lot saltier than like a kosher salt. And as you can see, this is now a nice, consistent gravy. And believe it or not yummy delicious <laughs> so guys if you like this kind of video let me know in the comment section down below I might make some more cooking videos in the near future and hopefully by watching you uh, got a good idea how to make your own gravy alright so like always make sure to take care of one another Raven Hot Coins have a great day